Hello, hello. Okay, so I have today a makeup get ready tutorial ish video. So if you want to see how I got this look, got out Stay of the tuned. shower, and I decided, you know what? I want to put on some makeup. I have nowhere to go. Probably just going to sit on the couch and watch some Netflix or movie with the kids. But I decided, you know what? Yeah, let me let me put on some makeup, some do's. And so I wanted to do like get ready with me. This is super simple. It is nothing fancy. It's it's just my everyday go-to mommy makeup if I want to go to like somewhere that I kind of have to look kind of look good ish you know like a little put together this is what i this is what i would do so it's super simple um first i gotta get all these hair out of my face so let's get all righty and then we're gonna put on moisturizer this is the Tatcha Water Cream Moisturizer. I am super, super oily. So I don't do heavy, heavy moisturizing. Um, that's not for me. Because if not, I'm going to get so greasy like a grease ball. Make sure you wash your hands too before. Because you do not want to get any blemishes. That's how bacteria spreads. And it's really cute. This is super cute. It comes with a little spatula. So you don't have to stick it in, you know, your finger in there. And then, yeah, this goes right back on over here. And then you can just put it all over your face. And this feels exactly like what the, it says, it feels like there's water on your face face like your face is drinking a glass of water your skin anyway I am not gonna use any primer today because like I said I am not going anywhere so I don't need it to last I am only gonna be sitting on the couch but if I were gonna go somewhere then I'll probably gonna prime and all that good stuff keeping the hair okay there we go all right, so we're gonna let it sit in for a little bit, and then the next step I always do is my lips. Um, I already put on a scrub. Um, when I was in the shower, I do this in the shower. It's the Sugar Lip um, Polish by Fresh. It's gently exfoliate and condition your lips. It is. It's like a sugar scrub. It smells like tamarind to me. I don't know if you know what tamarind smell like. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, you just put it on there and kind of work it all around and then you can either wash it off, which I don't I, I do it at the end and then I'll just use like a little What do you call that cotton pads? Yeah, cotton wipes or and then you just wipe off the excess or you can wash it off too and it just leave your lips really conditioned and it kind of plump up your lips a little bit too because it kind of works the blood vessel and all that stuff in there so and it takes off all the dead skin so that's good next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put on a um lip balm or lip mask or something to help it for later on if you're gonna wear lipstick lost a spatula to this so i'm gonna have to dig my finger in here but i washed my hands so that's okay and this is mine and I really like this one. This one is the Laneige Sleep Lip Sleeping Mask. But I use it to condition my lips as well. I think I might have put on too much. So, just going to let it sit there for a little bit. Just in case if I want to put on a, like a drying what are those called now oh my god i'm having a brain farts right now uh liquid lipstick all right so now that my face feel like it's kind of dry we're gonna get into the face i am gonna just use a 
CC from It Cosmetic. It's your skin but better CC cream. I love this thing. It's SPF 50. It's anti-aging, but I really don't, you know, it's not about, it's so light. And this is so easy. And I'm also going to use their brush. Which brush is this? The Heavenly Luxe number four. So two pumps. Two pumps is all you need. So we're not going for, uh, you know what? I'm only going to do one pump. Not even going to do two. We're not going for a full coverage, you know, off the red carpet kind of thing. So I think one is enough. I'm going to stretch this one. I have a few blemishes here, which I'm going to cover. So I'm going to concentrate most of it right there. But still, I'm going to, I have a mirror down right over here. But yeah. When I was younger, I used to wear heavy, heavy, heavy. I mean, full coverage, give me the fullest you can foundation. And I would sometimes have a full face just to go to 7-Eleven or McDonald in the drive-thru. Ain't nobody gonna see me. But that was me back when I was like in my 20s, you know, like, Oh, my mom said, oh, we're having your uncle and aunties over for a little get-together later on. I would have my full face on. But now that I'm older, I don't care about that stuff. Like, sometimes to put on my makeup, I'm like, oh, do I really, do I really want to go out? Like, do I really want to put a full face on tonight and then having to take it off because you have to take off your makeup please 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 take off your makeup at night because if you don't because i have many on many occasion before when you know too much partying you come home and then you don't don't forget your ears i always get my ears because my ears tend to be redder than my body and i always drag it down to my neck as well and sometimes even on a little bit because if you're gonna wear um uh, neck showing your decollete or your shoulder or your this area your collarbone just 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 kind of buff it a little bit you know take it down drag it down this is the time that i kind of linger around the most is my um, putting on my base because you really want it to work it in there if you have a beauty blender use a beauty blender now if you have dark circles under your eyes this is the time to put on um, concealer. Um, like I said, we're not going nowhere. So we're not even going to do concealer today. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies of your face. Just work it in there. Just buff away. And I'm kind of rough on my face because I know, like, I know you can do gentle strokes and all that stuff. And when I am doing it on a client, I do more gently. But when it's on my own face, you can beat it. And I think that looks pretty, pretty good. Yeah, that looks good, I think. And you see how one pump, my whole face and my neck, like one pump is enough. This thing is pretty full coverage. To me, I feel like it's pretty full coverage as is. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then, as you guys noticed lately, your girl has lashes for days. I've been getting lash extension. I'm going to be doing a video later on about the yay and nay of lash, lash, lash extension. Oh my god, I can't speak. Um, so now, with it, I don't have to put on falsies. And I love doing like eyebrows, lash, and lips. That is like sometimes my go-to where you don't need eye, too much eyeshadow. So now with last extension, you want to get yourself a couple spoolie like these disposable spoolie. And you're just going to spoolie your lashes. Because you need to kind of wake them up. And 
you know. I took a when you take a bath, you want to clean your eyelashes because you do not want them to be dirty because they're so close to your eyes that yeah, as you can see. There we go. All right. Done. Spoolie. Woo -hoo. Done. Next things we're going to do is eyebrows. Because, you know, love me some brows. I am going to be using uh, Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color number five. A little bit dark for me, but we're going to walk. Work it. We're gonna rock it anyway. So with the top um, front, you're gonna wanna do very lightly. Oh, this is not a tutorial. This is just a get ready with me. So come on, speed up. Sorry, I cannot talk when I do my brows. I know how some people can talk when they can do their brows, and I'm like, how do you even do? And sometimes I make the ugliest faces too. Now we're gonna work it all in because she's gonna spoolie. There are days I want a really strong brows, and then there are days that I want very messy, fluffy brows, so. I'm gonna so that is one side I'm gonna do this side and come right back all right so both brows are on some days I can get them to be sister cousin some days are not in the, even on the same they're not even neighbors but today they're friends today they're friends and if I was gonna go somewhere special I would carve them out with concealer but like I said, not going anywhere special. I'm just gonna watch Lucifer. The new season is out on Netflix. But I am gonna set it. Um, I'm going to use the Benefit Full Brew Brows Powder in number five as well. I'm just going to, it has two tones. I'm just gonna set it because I am a grease ball. And if I don't set my face or my brows or anything, if I don't set anything, I can cook bacon or I can cook eggs actually off of my face because I am so greasy. So with the lighter shade, I am just going to dab the front part lightly. And that this is just so that, you know, when I'm laying and tossing on the couch, I don't get it all over the pillows. And then the darker shade, of course, is gonna go on the tail. And the shape is already there. All we're doing is just dabbing it on. That's all we're doing. And sometimes, this is why I like to have my lashes done because my eyebrows takes forever. Okay, next will be setting my face. Like I said, you see how greasy it is already? And all I did was just put on foundation. So this, I love this powder. It's the Sicily powder. Um, and it's the loose powder in number one, uh, I we see there is a slight micro glitter bits to it it's not super noticeable so it's not a flat I know I'm, I'm contradicting myself saying that you know my face is oily I shouldn't be putting any um, glitter or stuff particle but for some reason on your face it gives this most 
beautiful glow airbrush looks it's so beautiful the only thing i don't like about this is the way how this this design like the shifting and all oh, it's just a big mess like powder everywhere kind of kind of deal oh well we're just gonna pat it on and you just want a big fluff i think this is like a morphe e41 yeah whatever powder big the big the biggest softest powder brush you can find oh and um with lash extension you you know what i'm just gonna grab a little bit more and close these things up you shouldn't use um oil based makeup remover so for your eyes and stuff like that you want to use a water-based makeup remover because you don't want it to undo the glue of your lashes and that's the only thing well i'm gonna go into more detail in that video i even go over my brows just so that if it's too much it will lighten it down all right done these next few steps it's gonna be super super fast next will be my bronzer I don't contour I do bronze this is my bronzer of choice this is my love this is my everything this is the ambient lighting luminous ambient ambience this is the hourglass ambience lighting bronzer in luminous bronze light and it took a beating I love this thing like love it squirrel 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 favorite brush Mac 135 and we're just gonna bronze here, here, super quick because just adding some color back into my life. Okay, I even go a little bit over my nose because you know. All right, so now I have color. Back to my face. We're gonna use um, blush. MAC powder blush in Prism. Very, I'm a boring kind of girl, basic. The Morphe E51, add it in there and then pat some off of on your hand. And I like to make this face, I don't know why, but then we're gonna put it right here that's where I put my blush right here and then I'm gonna work it up into the temple kind of mush it together with that bronzer so I don't smile I don't know why but yeah so just right here and this thing is huge so it just pop right on the cheek perfect size and then up the temple and Blush done. That's where I put my blush. And I know it looks a little bit dark because I'm gonna buff in a minute as well. All right, that is done. Remember that bronzer? A fluffy brush any kind of I'm gonna concentrate it in where that squirrel that dark squirrel is gonna be close my eyes and in same thing on the other side close my eyes in color boom done kind of use the back of your hand take off most of the color and we're going to buff it up to our brows. So, like I said, this is my go-to look. Eyeshadow done. And then I am going to use 
a Q-tip. This is the Bling Mac. It's kind of like a pinky color. I'm gonna pop it in the in the corner. I want it a different look today. Can you guys see that? I don't know. I can see it. Oh, I have a blush here. You know what? I'm going to use this blush, Milani Pink Blush, and see if I can add a little bit more depth to it. All right. That's enough pink. What else? I'm going to be looking ridiculous later. So we're just going to... All right, that's good. Next, highlight. Anastasia Beverly Hill Ambrizi highlight. I really like it, I really do love it. Love this highlight with her Anastasia Beverly Hill A23 highlighting brush. We're just gonna pop it right there. And right here where that is a little bit right here that's C yeah that's enough like I said I'm only gonna be watching Lucifer so I want to look good for Lucifer yeah can you see that mm-hmm and right here right over here on top of the high point another cute clean q-tip I'm gonna put it right in the middle of my nose running up very lightly this is how I do my nose highlight I know weird but I like it like this And then the heat of your hands sometimes melt the makeup in there and it doesn't make it super gaudy. All right. And then Cupid's bow. That's good. Last but not least, we're going to do a little bit um, mascara underneath the eye. We're going to use I Love. If I don't have last extension, I would be wearing this mascara. This beats out so many other high-end expensive mascara. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof. And it's a new one. I just opened mm, Excuse me. And it's a new one. I just opened it. So, and it has to be waterproof for my eyes because if not, it's going to be flaking everywhere. Take off most of it. I'm going to. Boom. Done. Oh, I got some. Two. Clean Q-tip underneath your eye. If you get some, just wait for it to dry a little bit before you go in, but. I'm kind of impatient right now and clean it up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now, last but not least, lips time. So with this look, you can go with so many different color. You can do a red lips. You can do, you can just keep this on and do a very simple lips. So when in doubt, this is the lips I always do. And it's not even a lipstick. I'm actually going to take some off. I am going to be using the MAC Lip Pencil in Oak. And I'm going to line my whole lips.
and call it a day that's all i'm gonna do i'm just going to line my lips and this acts as a lip color but it also has like a it's almost like a liquid lipstick because it's a matte color and it's a lip um a lip pencil but it's also not as drying and i like it i think it's a uh, very natural and i like to kind of blend it out with my fingers so that it's not super harsh and this is the look and if you want it kind of glossy pop on that lip mask again but to me i like it like this all right and remember earlier um we we have i think there's still a little powder on this that sicily powder so what we're gonna do is we're gonna buff this is the very this is actually the very last step after you put on your lips you're gonna use this you're gonna buff because those highlights those blushes and all that um bronzers this will kind of blur all those lines together and if you're a little bit greasy since you know you put it on the powder on this will take it away too this just kind of helps it kind of blur it kind of even everything out buff and pat i do some patting i do some buffing and yeah see how it's a little bit more muted than earlier and that is the last step so thank you for watching and until next time i hope you guys like this get ready with me slash tutorial slash hot mess kind of thing um but yeah so my hair i need to figure it out this hair because it's I feel like I have three strand of hairs on my head kind of deal. But I love it. I love how quick and dry, like easy it is. So yes.